Hello friends, welcome to Infigyan in this video of differential equations. In this video, we will be solving one primitive equation from J2005, which is y dx plus y square dy equal to x dy. x belong to real number, y is positive, y1 is given to us 1, we have to find out y of negative 3. So let's get started. What does it mean if partial differential equation is given? See y dx plus y square dy equal to x dy. So this is kind of dx term is separate, dy term is separate. So equation is non-linear partial differential equation. Any equation which is non-linear partial differential equation, that equation is nothing but primitive equation. So let's get started. I will consider all the terms to the left hand side. Y dx minus x dy plus y square dy equal to 0. Okay. Let me write the derivative of, I just want to show you d over dx if I will ask you x over y. Then you will write derivative would be y dx minus x dy, the quotient rule in the differentiation over y square. Okay. Now see this bracket. It is making that form y dx minus x dy over y square. y square is missing. So what we will do? We will create y square in the denominator. Okay. Now this looks nice. Now this term is d over dx of this bracket. This bracket is d over dx of x over y. This formula is called quotient rule in differentiation, if you remember. Okay, so this bracket we will write d over dx of x over y plus this y square will get cancelled out dy equal to 0. Now d over dx is involved. So how we will solve? Let's integrate this equation. So I will use integrate both sides. Okay. Now we know that differentiation and integration, they will get cancelled out. It is like that. x over y plus integration of dy. So that will give us y and right hand side is obviously 0 because of we have integrated we have to put one integration constant. So k is integration constant. Now point is how we will find out k then we have to target y of minus 3. So how we can find out? For finding k value, this information is in the question. y1 is 1. Okay, that means at x equal to 1, y equal to 1. Put the value x equal to 1. Okay, 1 over 1 plus 1 equal to k. So 1 plus 1, so that means k equal to 2. So our means differential, this equation converts into x over y plus y equal to 2. It is nonlinear equation. We will say it is nonlinear equation. If I will simplify this one, this will give us the degree 2. Okay. So x over y plus y equal to 2. Now our objective is to find out y of negative 3. Okay. x over y plus y equal to 2. 2 is your integration constant. Now let's find out y of minus 3. Okay. At x equal to, let me use, at x equal to minus 3, the value of y is we have to find out. So you will put in place of x, we will apply 
माइनस थ्री नेगेटिव थ्री ओवर वाई प्लस वाई इक्वल टू टू मल्टीप्लाई दिस इक्वेशन बाय वाई सो इट विल गिव अस माइनस थ्री प्लस वाई स्क्वायर इक्वल टू टू वाई टेक ऑल द टर्म्स टू द राइट सो आई विल राइट वाई स्क्वायर और लेफ्ट माइनस टू वाई माइनस थ्री इक्वल टू जीरो आइदर लेफ्ट और राइट इट डजेंट मैटर बिकॉज दैट विल ओनली क्रिएट Minus sign extra, so right hand side is zero, so that will merge in that. So y square minus two y minus three equal to zero. Now this is one quadratic equation. I will use quadratic formula. I will write y equal to minus b plus minus square root b square minus four ac over two a. That formula I will use. I will apply the value minus b means two. I am putting values b square. Negative two square four minus four ac. Let me write c is negative three over two a. So one. So that value will be two plus minus square root four plus twelve over two. So y will be equal to. Two plus minus root sixteen, so four over two. Okay. So if I will consider plus, then six over two. If I will consider minus sign in between, then minus two over two. From where we'll get three negative one. There are two values. Now one important point is also given in the question that y is always positive. So what we will do? We will reject minus one because of we will reject this one. Why? Because y cannot be negative. So this value is not accepted. Our answer will come out three. Means for which we we have calculated for x equal to negative three, y is coming out. So what we will write? Minus three is three. This is one kind of differential equation. Rather, is to say partial differential equation. From where we conclude result like this. Important point is the derivative d over dx of x over y. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till date, you have supported a lot, and I am expecting same thing in future also. So thanks a lot for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you